Look at them all. The Christians. It's not fair. I could be that happy if I believed a lot of rubbish. So, listen, Hans and I have had a big chat, and we're really into your idea. What idea? Getting rid of Jeremy. That wasn't... My idea was more... throw a bit more light on Hans and maybe give Jez a tambourine. Look, imagine you have a chocolate bar and half of it was made of delicious milk chocolate, and the other half was made of human shit. Wouldn't you just break off the half made of shit? I really don't think that's a fair analogy. Is that... Jeremy? Is he getting baptised? I can't let him out of my sight for a minute. Damn! The contract, the chemicals have read the appendix. Oh, I need to get on this. I've got to get back. Look, would you do me a huge one and tell Jeremy he's not playing tonight? What? Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's not my job. You're the manager. I'm, I'm just the roadie. It'll be better coming from you. You'll say better lies about him not being terrible. Plus, real world, I might not make the gig. Pick you up at five. Oh, God, I'm the messenger. Somebody please shoot the messenger. Hey, Mark, I just got baptised. This is Ronnie. He was my baptizer. Thanks, Ronnie. Peace be with you, Jeremy. Yeah, peace be with you too, Ronnie. <clears throat> Yeah, the organisers were pretty keen for me to get it done before the show. Initially, I was a bit iffy, but then I thought, you know, gig in front of hundreds of people, fuck it. Plus, there's like maybe a 1% chance that the whole Jesus thing could be true. Sorry, Ronnie. In which case, I've got something to pull out of the bag on Judgment Day. Huh. Yes, right. Just walk him into the car park and shoot him in the back of the head. I'm Tony Soprano, he's an FBI stripper. You know what, I'm really looking forward to the gig tonight, after all. If Superhands is into it, then I'm into it. Everything's finally coming together, and everything's finally, definitely going to be OK. Oh, God, he's on a raft floating towards Niagara Falls, flicking through Heat magazine with one hand down his trousers. I've got to tell him. Uh, look, Jez, there's, there's something I, I need to tell you. It, it, it's not good news. Um, Callie told me, she, she and Superhands, that they want... You're out of the band. Me, out of the band? What the fuck? Might slip this one under the rug while he's still reeling. Yeah, cos we're going out, and sh she told me she'd had this idea, and, and I said, no, don't. That that's literally what I said. And... You're screwing Callie? I'm out of the band? They can't just do this to me, can they? Hmm? Seem to get away with the Callie thing. Well, you'll have to break up with her. What? Oh, n no, Jez. She's trying to shaft me, Mark. You've got a dumper, it's a no-brainer. It is not a no-brainer. I'll have to think about it. it. It's a brainer. It's a real brainer. See, the, the thing is, I, I... I don't think I've ever done sex right before. Oh, you're fine, mate. Just stick with missionary. You're a sexual civilian. Leave the disgusting stuff to me. Callie's teaching me. She, she, she gives me, second by second, detailed instructions of what to put where for how long. That's cheating. Anyone can please a woman if she tells you what to do. You're not allowed to ask. That's the whole point. Look, if, if I break up with her, I don't see myself having good sex ever again. And, unless I'm, like, going on holiday to Hawaii and the plane crashes and all my fellow survivors are women sex therapists on their way to a conference. And even then, there'd probably be loads of male sex therapists there too, and they'd love that, wouldn't they? All fucking each other and giving each other tips while I sit on a rock wanking and crying. Yeah, all right, man, whatever. Let's talk to Hans. If we can get him on side, then maybe you can keep your pathetic nookie lessons going. So, did Callie tell you about her and me much? No. God, no. Don't worry. Nothing like that. She stopped him in the middle. I'll save that for a rainy day. That's money in the bank. 